Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and the IT Cosmetics. Your skin but better CC Cream. So if you want to see how they compare, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And what came very new to e.l.f. recently is the Camo CC Cream. I've been wearing this the past couple of days, so I do have my thoughts on this, but I have been very curious as to how it would compare to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Now, this has been around for a long time. It is a cult favorite, and I've done a lot of comparisons between this foundation because just about everybody has tried it and so many people love it and when this came out I was immediately intrigued because let's be honest here it's a copy of the IT Cosmetics CC cream now I don't have the normal bottle because I buy two different travel sizes to mix different colors but this is pretty darn close to the original packaging of the IT Cosmetics and not only that but the claims are very similar. So let's talk about the immediate differences right away. So first and foremost, this guy is gonna cost you $14, which is a bit pricey for e.l.f., but okay, not as bad when you compare it to the $40 that one tube of the original IT Cosmetics will be. Looking at the claims, they're very, very similar as well, so I'm not pulling this out of nowhere. Another major difference, though, that you can tell right away, the IT Cosmetics has SPF 50 as opposed to the e.l.f., which has SPF. PF 30. The e.l.f. actually has more shades. The e.l.f. comes in 20 shades, whereas the IT Cosmetics comes in 12 shades. So there is a bit of a difference in that number as well, which I found very interesting. Both claim to have a pretty full coverage. Now the e.l.f. says medium to full, whereas the IT says it will give you a full coverage, which is not true. It's more of a medium coverage based on my experience with it. And they're supposed to both come with ingredients that improve your skin underneath, which is what all CC creams claim. Both claim to be pretty long wearing, hydrating, smoothing of the appearance of your skin, medium to a foolish coverage, something that's really going to perfect your skin and a natural finish. So this does claim to have more coverage just based on it only saying it is full coverage, but since it is medium, it leads me to believe these are very, very close. So let's do our side-by-side -side comparisons. We're gonna get into it, but I mean, there are some differences. Claims are very, very close. I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I just know how this one works. It's really great with my dry skin type. So if you aren't familiar with my skin type, I have normal to dry skin, but of course in the winter time, right now it is a little bit more dry than usual. So right now, I'm more on the dry side. I prefer a medium coverage with a more natural finish. Nothing too dewy, nothing too matte. Everything kind of right in between, which is why these two foundations pretty much sound like they meet my needs. Let's quickly talk about shades. So I have the e.l.f. in light 210N. This is a very nice shade match for me. A little bit thicker in consistency compared to the IT Cosmetics. So let me show you a couple IT comparisons. So here is the IT Cosmetics in light. You can see it's a little bit more neutral and it has a lighter feel to it. It's a little bit more liquidy. And then I also have medium in the IT Cosmetics. Let me show you. So the third one down is the medium, which is a little bit closer and match to the shade that I got. Honestly, all three shades work on me. I know they look different, but the e.l.f., surprisingly, I don't mind the color match once you blend it all out, you know? So I'm going to start off on this side with my typical IT Cosmetics mix, which is a mixture of the light and medium. The problem with the light shade in the IT is I feel like it's a bit too gray for me, but I'm going to blend that in with one side of my sponge. Okay, so one side of the IT Cosmetics is on. Now let's apply some of the e.l.f. I'm gonna try and apply the same amount and definitely in consistency right away. This is thicker. It's a little bit more difficult to spread out. I do think that the IT Cosmetics is a little bit more pleasing to apply and simple. Okay, so let's take a look side by side at how we're looking. Now, I will admit, I do think I ended up putting 
just a touch more of the e.l.f. on just because of the consistency and how much came out in one pump. An immediate difference that I can see between the two is I feel like the IT Cosmetics sunk into my skin. It looks a little bit more skin-like as opposed to the e.l.f. which I feel like is sitting a little bit more on top of the skin. My skin looks to have more texture. However, there is a little bit more coverage on the e.l.f. side as well. I feel like my skin looks a tad drier as well. Just everything on this side is looking a little bit more natural as opposed to this side. I feel like it's looking a little bit more makeup-y. Now, I don't think it looks bad. These are just my side-by-side -side comparisons. Now, because I do think I have a little bit more e.l.f., let me layer on just a touch more of the IT Cosmetics. Instantly as well, I do feel like the IT Cosmetics has a little bit more of a glow to it. Now it does kind of dry down a little bit, but something about the e.l.f. is a bit more, it's not matte, it still has a little bit of a glow to it, but the IT Cosmetics has more of a dew to it. Okay, so this is where we are at. Now that I've applied more of the IT Cosmetics, it's looking a little bit closer to the e.l.f. However, still it has more of a skin-like appearance as opposed to the e.l.f. With, which does look like it's sitting more on top of my skin. And it's just not blending as well into my skin. Now, like I said, I've been wearing this the last couple of days. I do like it. I don't love it. One of my earlier thoughts about this after wearing it a couple of times was that it did look like it sat on top of my skin, but it's not bad. So here's how we're looking. You can kind of decide what you feel would be better for you. I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back and I'll show you kind of the differences as I've had them on more. All right, you guys. So... All of my makeup is done. I've had the makeup on for half an hour. If you're curious about what I'm wearing, I used the ColourPop and Hello Kitty and Friends collection. I don't know if I'll have that video up. I did film it, but I messed up the audio. My microphone had fell to the ground and I didn't notice it. So I'm really sad about that. So you'll see if, it, if it's up, it's up. If it's not, it's not going to be up. <laughs> okay, like I said, I've had the makeup on for about half an hour now and here is how we are looking. So I did set my face with powder right in the middle and then I do have powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight to kind of set the outer areas of my face. So powder is what is setting my makeup. Taking a close look, you can definitely see on the elf side, especially right in this area, it looks drier than on the IT Cosmetics side. So if you have dry skin, IT Cosmetics I think is going to do you better. It is more moisturizing and it definitely Definitely looks like it's sitting in my skin like in a flattering way as opposed to sitting on my skin like the elf I mean now that the makeup is on and it's been sitting on my skin it looks pretty close for like a $30 difference I mean it doesn't look like a $30 difference, but you can definitely see that the IT Cosmetics is looking better. Honestly, if you have more oily skin, the e.l.f. might treat you a bit better. I mean, we will see. I think the e.l.f. has a little bit more coverage to it, but more skin-like is definitely the IT Cosmetics. So I'm going to keep you updated. It's Sunday today, so I am going to do wrapping presents. I might have to head to the store, so we might get a nice mask comparison as well. So that's it for now. Right now it's looking better, but we will see how wear time really gives it away. So I will catch up with you in a few hours. I did also want to give you guys a natural lighting look as well. So here is the it side, here is the elf side. I love my makeup. I really hope the footage from that video is okay, but you can take a look at that. All right, you guys, it has been about three hours. No, it's been four hours. We are officially at the halfway mark. I wanted to update you on how everything is going. I didn't do much. I did just get off of a live and that was really, really fun, but that's what I've been preoccupied doing. It was like unexpected. I just felt like going live. You can start to see the makeup has settled just a little bit into my smile lines, definitely breaking up more on the elf side and it does look drier up in here on the outside but other than that i would say everything else looks pretty much the same there is slight more of a luminous glow on the it cosmetic side but everything is wearing really well both ends of course time will tell when we get towards the later hours but yep so here's a quick look 
at how everything is comparing. Alrighty, so it is 8 p.m. I'm ready to get this off of my face. So <laughs> let's take a closer look. Now, around my mouth, it's gonna be a little bit messed up because I ate some ribs. <laughs> and I stopped by Walmart to pick up some photos. So I did wear a mask for a very short period of time. On the mask, there was pretty much an even amount of makeup on my mask, but my makeup looks pretty untouched both sides. The only thing really super different, I would say, is it's a little bit crustier up in this area and it's a lot more smooth on the IT cosmetic side. I mean, both foundations straight up wore really, really well today. I mean, I've worn the IT cosmetics a countless number of times. It's a good foundation. And the e.l.f held up very well. So my final thoughts would be, at the end of the day, like, I still prefer the IT Cosmetics. I like how it's more skin-like. I think it wears a bit better and it works better with my dry skin type. So I still would recommend that you do pick up the IT Cosmetics. However, it's almost a $30 price difference, but they aren't as similar as I thought they would be. I think the finish on the skin is just different enough. They don't really work the same. I don't think they wear the same and they don't have the same finish. And I do think that the IT Cosmetics is better. That being said, not disappointed with the e.l.f. But the last few days I've been wearing it, it hasn't been my favorite, if that makes sense. Don't think it's bad. Didn't have a bad experience with it. I just have better. I will say though, I think this is my favorite e.l.f. foundation that I've tried from all of their base products. All right, guys. So I'm going to close off the video with that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts about these two. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you later. Bye guys, have a good one.